Anyway, the good thing about Port Colborne when you get here, it's full of ships. So, uh, I'll go on with transport. It's been here now for seven months and it's like, yeah, it's really being scrapped now completely. The Eagle Algo Titan I'm gonna go with. Uh, the nose at the front basically gives it away. They also is good for going in the ocean. Uh, the bulbous nose there, so it's well known. It's, it can handle the, sh uh, the seas. It's designed to go through the seas, but you can also tell by its markings on it that it's been through the locks many times. And we also have a few tall ships down here, and also a government of Canada vessel, uh, the Coast Guard. Uh, ship, uh, Limnos. Fisheries in Ocean Canada, uh, away from the crew there. So there's going to be thousands of people down here uh, enjoying the uh, long weekend festivi festivities. There's a concert at night and stuff like that. But today it's all about street vendors and street performers and so on. So Empire Sandy is just uh, leaving here to get onto the water. She's pretty choppy out there. See how she handles. I might follow it out. from everyone out here on Empire Sandy. I'm gonna watch it go out on the water because it is choppy out there. It'd be interested to see how she handles and uh, see if it starts throwing up. So uh, we'll head on out there and wait for it. This is the Empire Sandy and she's one of 1,464 Empire ships that were built or acquired for war service by the British government. She was built back in England in 1943 as a deep sea tugboat. She was tasked with the Royal Navy work and salvaging merchant ships damaged in the Battle of the Atlantic and other naval engagements during the Second World War. In 1952 she was sold to a Canadian firm, the Great Lakes Paper, and was renamed Chris M. Once in service on the Great Lakes, she spent 15 years towing timber rafts for Lake Superior logging companies. And then in the early 1970s, the A ship was to be sold to the breakers for scrap. But the steel hull was still in very good condition and she was bought by Nautical Adventures Company uh, for a possible conversion. They completed the rebuild of the vessel as a three-masted schooner in the style of an 1880s vessel. And then she assumed her original name, Empire Sandy. Empire Sandy is now providing chartered tall ship tours from Toronto, but today she's here at the Pope Coburn Canal Days. And while she was here back in 2017, she was actually involved in a collision with the Liberian freighter Inner. Uh, the collision happened in Lock 8 of the Welland Canal. Uh, the Empire Sandy had entered the canal after a strong winds had diverted it from the scheduled cruise on Lake Erie. While in Lock 8, the Empire Sandy struck the lock wall before running into the stern of the Inner, 
The inner was undamaged and there was reports of no injuries. Uh, the inner proceeded with its voyage and the Empire Sandy was inspected for damage and uh, later reports showed there was no damage sustained. Is it for Port Coburn? I made my way home somehow. Uh, it is pretty rough out there, so we'll see how far we get. Um, nice chat to a few people around here. A few boats They're just here chilling out for the uh, canal days. And we're out of here. Tell you what, these waves are a little big out here. <laughs> some ride <laughs> 